Welcome to Tri-State Celebration. I'm your host today, Pastor Steve Mays. I want to tell you that God has so many benefits. Psalms 103 says, forget not all my benefits. The Lord Jesus Christ comes with benefits and I'm so thankful for that. I'm glad that he can set us free and deliver us and we can walk in the supernatural. Today I've got a great guest with me and a great dear friend. His name is Dave Caldwell. Brother Caldwell, how are you today? Well, I'm doing great, Brother Steve. It's such an honor to be here. I'm Daystar today yes. here in the Tri-State area. What a wonderful, wonderful God we do serve. Amen. And yes, I do is. thank God today for all of His benefits and for all the things He's been to me. Uh, I, just, I just don't know where to begin today to tell you. Uh, how good God is Amen. Well, uh, brother, in my life. Right. Amen. You've got a great testimony, don't you, Brother Dave, that God brought you out of, and you're just thankful to be here today, right? Oh, goodness. I, I, <laughs> thankful. Uh, that's probably an understatement. Uh, just amazed and, and I'm traumatically blessed by right. the Lord to just uh, be here on the set today and to do the things that God has allowed me to do and to participate in. I appreciate him so much for the things that he's allowed me to do. Right. And uh, this this is a great opportunity today to be able to speak to the tri-state area and to uh, be able to be with you, Amen. Bishop Mays. I, it's just, just an honor. Amen. Well, something happened to you a few years back that um, you want to talk about a little bit today and let the people know that how big your God is and what he can do and what he's brought you out of that you're here today. Hey Amen. I do want to talk about that today. I, 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 it's, it's quite an amazing story. And what's the most amazing part about it is true. Right. That's the true story. Uh, 18 years ago, to be exact, in 1990, I, had a, I suffered a, a, a huge trauma. Uh, I fell into a massive Ferguson 510 corn uh, head, which, is, which was attached to a combine. And mm. uh, literally mangled my lower extremities uh, to the point that I shouldn't even have legs or, or to be able to walk. Right. Uh, and God has miraculously uh, healed my body and, and, and put me back together and uh, put me in the ministry to uh, touch people's lives and to tell them uh, that God is Jehovah Rapha. Amen. And that He Our is healer. a healer. Yes. And uh, Praise the Lord. We go back these these years and 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 this is an emotional thing for me, Bishop Mays, uh, uh, because it is true and it is my life. Right. Uh, to share with uh, public, share with churches, uh, the people that that God allots for me to share the story with, because I relive it every time I tell it. And it started October thirtieth, Halloween Eve, in nineteen ninety. Um, it was late. Uh, around 7.30 in the evening, um, out with a gentleman helping him harvest corn. And the machine that we were using to, to perform this action uh, become clogged with debris. And there was like a mountain of weeds that had, had, uh, had gathered on, on the front of this machine. And my boss asked me to step out on the front of the machine to try to remove the debris. And I agreed to do so. And as I, as I exited the machine, there was uh, the dividers on the front of this machine. I, I placed my left foot here and my right foot on the first one and two. And there was a horizontal auger that mm. sat directly behind the gatherers. Right. And the, the surface of the corn head was slick. And uh, as I leaned over to pull on a stalk that was obvious, my foot slipped on this steel and it hit that auger. And uh, my right foot became entangled in this auger and it began to twist my legs around this auger. Mm. And uh, as it did, I could feel my, my fibula and tibula bones in my lower extremities begin to break. And as I'm pulled down into this machine, I begin to feel my femur bones break in my leg. And, mm. and Brother Steve, uh, there was in the center of this 
machine, what they call a feeder house. And it began to feed me back into the machine as if you would stuff an orange in a sock and it stopped. 